In this week's Photoshop tutorial, it's all about black and white color toning. Hey guys, and welcome back to a brand new Photoshop tutorial. My name is Manny, and you can find me over at RitaPro.com, the channel where you get to learn everything about Photoshop and photography in a weekly quick tutorial. In today's tutorial episode, I'll teach you guys how to do a simple black and white toning in Photoshop. It will only involve a few adjustment layers in order to achieve the effect. But if you are too lazy to do this, you can always go to our website at RitaPro.com, simply buy the action and just plug and play. And right away you have the same effect. But more about this right away in the tutorial. Okay, so over in Photoshop, first of all, you guys can see again in my layers palette, here already have the working file. You guys can also find that down below in the description again. Also, what I wanted to show you guys is right away go to my actions tab. If you don't have that, simply go to window and select actions over here. Right, so under the actions tab and set number four, if I just hit play here, it right away plays again all of everything that I want to show you today. Okay, so it just says thanks for using our Rita Pro Actions and for more unique actions, visit our site. Okay, so basically everything that I'm explaining now, you guys can also find that again under our action set on the website. So again, here you guys get to see it, it plays really quickly. But let's actually do this whole color toning. So first of all, I'm going to go to adjustments and also going to select here just the black and white color adjustment layer. All right, so I'm going to make this a bit bigger so we can actually see things here a bit easier. And right away, I'm going to work under the default. So obviously, this adjustment layer right away changes your image to black and white image. Um, and you will always have to tweak this a little bit because it doesn't always fit perfectly with your match. It depends on your brightness and exposure, obviously, tonalities, colors, all of that stuff. So for my image now today, under the default, I'll start working here just with a little bit of red tones in order to brighten them a little bit. I'm going to go up to like 85%. Have a look, 85, yeah, that should be good. What I also do is always go into this eye and turn off the visibility on or off again, just to see the effect already right away. Then as well, uh, my yellows, let's have a look here. If we tweak them up a little bit, maybe like a 90% should do. Yeah, just brightening a lot the hair in the back. Greens, we do not have too many greens in here. I'll switch this to zero. And normally what I also do is take the slider all the way to the left or right just to see where the effect will happen. And I'll just see it here in the top actually. So I can actually keep it back to zero again. For the next step, again, the cyans. Um, I think she has a lot of cyan in her dress. Let's have a look, yeah. So I wanna really push up that detail in there. So I'll take that up quite a lot. Uh, something like a 170, 180 here. Yeah, 182 should do. Okay, great. And the blues, let's have a look once more in those. Push the blues slightly, maybe like a 50, 60. Yeah, it's flattening already. So I actually want that effect. Let's go with the 80. Magenta, yeah, it's just adding the bit on the knee and the shadows. I might also just keep this to like an 80%. And like I said before, guys, this is also up to you. Play a little bit here just with these black and white adjustments. The nice thing is you can always go back in the end and also apply this effect again or tweak this effect again. All right, so for the next step that I want to do is basically go to just brightness and contrast. So I'll go back to adjustments and select brightness and contrast adjustment layer. I want to push the brightness slightly a bit more just to get a bit more pop. Something like a five to six, eight. Yes, I'll actually stay with six. And now the contrast. I want to really push the contrast quite a lot. Have a look if we move the slider all the way to the right. Yeah, getting some good contrast there already. So I will go with something like 40, 42%. Before and after. Okay, great. For the next step, again, also something with exposure, maybe pushing the brightness slightly more. Again, let's select exposure over here, adjustment layer. And first of all, I'll tweak just slightly the exposure. Also, I'll stick with default and push this up a bit now. Well, too hard already, like a plus 10 maximum, just to give it another really nice pop there. Then also offset, I'm going to play with that in a minute. First, I'm going to go over to the gamma correction. For that, I want to push it down a bit, even flatten my image a little bit, like a minus 1.14, or it just says 1.14 here. Let's have a look before and after. Great, I love the pop on it. And now I'm going to work quite a lot here with the offset. 
let's move this over. Okay, it was a little bit too much already. If you want to obviously make this even heavier, you can push this up a bit further. I'm just going to go with like a 0 0.6. Yeah, 0 0.6. Point zero zero actually. Have a look. 0 0.0600. Zero zero. Yeah, great. I like that. Okay, let's have a look before and after, before and off. Looks like a really good color adjustment there already. Okay, for the next step that I'll still do is also again play a little bit with my selective color adjustment layer. So let's move over to adjustments and also selective color over here. And first of all, I'm going to now work just in the neutral tones and the whites a little bit. Let's actually head over to the neutral tones first. I'll just push the blacks slightly a bit. Plus four, plus five. That's about good. Let's have a look before and after, just flattening that a little bit more. But I'll also go over to the blacks just in order to blacken that a bit more to flatten those blacks. Something like minus seven, minus eight. Have a look before and after, before and after. Okay, that looks all great. Last step that I'll still do is go back to adjustments, back to selective color once again, and just take the whites and take the pop slightly down from the whites. Have a look here. Yep, if we take it all the way down, just to get that really flat grayish look again. But this is obviously a bit too much. So maybe something like 30, 32%. Yeah, 30%, I like that. Great, so that's basically it, guys. All right, let's select all these layers again with Shift on the keyboard. I'm going to press Command-G, put it together in a group, and rename this. Also, if you're on a Windows computer, then hold Control when I say Command, so you also can create a group. Okay, great, so that is basically my simple black and white toning really quickly and also flatten everything, get that white washed out look as well. But remember again, if you select this and get our action preset, you can simply just select the action set, hit play here, it will say thanks for using it, and right away you also have the look. It's not that washed out as our previous one here, it's a bit more contrast here. But again, remember you can always open the group, go back here to the black and white adjustment, adjust this a little bit, or if you want, also go to exposure, and also reset here the offset again. So you're always able to tweak everything even if you use an action. So yeah guys, an easy, easy technique to do. Anyone can replicate this. And also remember, you can always fall back into your adjustment layers and just tweak again your percentages and the values there in order to get a different effect or if you want it more washed out, play a bit more with the offset. So yeah, if you're like me and can't get enough of Photoshop, then simply click on your screen right now to subscribe. We send you free Photoshop tutorials every single week. And don't forget, we love to hear from you too. So if you have any questions or concerns, let me know down below in the comment box. Also, we do take on tutorial requests, so just send them to tutorials at readthepro.com. Guys, that's basically it for this tutorial. If you want to download and get all the working files, just have a look down below in the description. You can download for free from our website. And if you're interested in some more popular videos, just check here on the right hand side, we've bundled something awesome just for you. So that's it guys, catch you all in the next tutorial.